Hello. Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be changing the door latch on my car. And I'm about to show you why. Alright, so the reason why I'm doing this is because as you can see my door is open. There's no door draw light on. It's not going to come on anyway because I'm retarded and forgot to turn the key. I didn't do that. Okay, now you can see there that the door jaw that is on. Okay, it's on. Now close the back door. Bam, goes off. It shouldn't go off though. Turn down the air. It shouldn't go off because the door's open. Then set and wiggle it back and forth. And nothing happens. Turn off my car. And my radio doesn't go off. Okay. But once again, if I open the door that works, the radio is now off. And that's one. So I know that it's a module, or at least I'm pretty sure. So uh, I went down to the junkyard and I picked one up. Okay, so here's the one that I picked up from the junkyard. Uh, it came out of another explorer, and as you can see, there's where our door jar module goes in. But if you watch my door ajar video, you know this one already has a brand new one in it because I replaced both sides because I didn't know which side was bad. And this is what was bad on it. Uh, I picked the sucker up for $10 from the uh, junkyard. Now one of these new is going to run you about $70. i am not totally sure why it's super high. And once you order it, you're going to get this and this gold piece. This is the door module and this is actually the latch. Uh, this, is, this bike piece is actually what's bad. And if you want to just replace that, you can. Uh, it's not quite as much. Uh, I think it's 50, maybe, maybe 50 or 30 for this black one. It might be wrong. I order all my stuff off Rock Auto, so you may find a better price somewhere else. And if you do find a better price somewhere else, be sure to let me know so that I can check out some other parts sometime. So, first things first, that's already out because it wasn't in the first place. Uh, here is your latch, right here, uh, come on, focus now, there we go. There's your latch back there, and there's three rods that hold it into place. Uh, you can see there's this one right here, that's the yellow clip. Uh, I'll try to put an arrow on the screen. And there's one right behind it that attaches in. And then there's this one right here. You can hear it clicking and stuff. Alright, and this one's really easy to take off. Pretty much just okay. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe there's this other little yellow clip that holds it down. That holds it in. You just push that down. There we go. Kind of has a good visual there. As you can see, this thing just pushes down, and then the rod goes right out of there. So you're gonna have three of them to pull out. So the next part's going to be uh, unbolting the latch and that other piece. And uh, if you've watched my door drive video, you already know this, but this, these two, are optional. You do not have to take this out. Basically, this is for your window uh, rack. Your window slides down inside of the bar that I'm going to pull out that these two uh, hold into. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to show you. But uh, this makes it easier access to the uh, this thing, door latch. And uh, this is the piece I was talking about. Your window slides right down in this to keep it nice and aligned. So you're going to want to put this back in. Uh, I said this in my door jar video. Do not forget about this thing. It's pretty important. Okay. So basically, you're going to pop that out that cable out of there and then turn it around and as you can see right here does this this cable is going to pull up and just kind of there you go and now your cable is free and your door lock is out so now you can pull your oh I'm going to get in the shot there 
Now you can pull your door draw sensor out. And this is that right here. Little button. Button. Okay. And here's your old one and new one. Oh god, what's the difference? Oh shit. This is the new one. Right here. This is your old one. Pretty sure anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Here's one of them. Yeah, we'll find out one. All right, so this is the, this is what happened with the door. Okay, so I put the new latch in it, all right? And I went to unlock it and lock it and it worked just fine. The latch was installed properly, everything worked great. But I went to close the door and get the door draw it to come on. So, I decided to take it to my shop. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm studying mechanics at a college. So, I went up to my teacher and I was like, Dude, I've tried everything. I cannot figure this problem out. What's going on? What's up with it? I've even put a new door latch on it. He's like, well, it could be a wiring issue. So I check all my wires, make sure there's nothing broke. I can't find anything broke. Okay, I searched for at least an hour or two. I could not find anything broke. So I decided to go back and take the door jar light out. Or take the door jar switch out. You remember we replaced those in an earlier video? I took the new door jar switch out of this one. And I put the old one back in it. Everything worked great. Okay, so you can see I have my door jar switch pulled out. It's right here. Yeah, that's my door jar switch. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. I'll zoom in so you guys can see it. But uh, over here, you can see if I press this in, you'll probably hear a dinging. Basically, what you're hearing right now is you're hearing this. If you're hearing that ding, I hope you are. That's basically activating it, okay? Okay, so if you'll watch, whenever I push this in, the door jar light will come on. And it makes that loud beeping noise. So basically that was our problem right there. And if you'll watch, the thing's on now. One of the keys engaged. If I do that. See that? Radio went off. And our double lights on. So that's your problem right there. That's not getting pushed in, right? Obviously. Okay, so I got the new sensor installed and it was working great for a day. Actually, not even a day. That night, it started messing up again. So the next day, I came out here and I took the door back apart and I pulled the new sensor out and put the old one back in and it started working again. And I haven't had a problem with it ever since. So what I think it was, was the new sensor really needs some lubricant because there was a lot of resistance in that button when I tried to push it down. Uh, there was a lot of extra resistance in it and I think it just needs a lot of lubricant. Uh, so I think that's what the problem was. Uh, if you ever have a problem like this, it's either lubricant or you may just need to get a new one from somewhere else because I put this side I got off Rock Auto and that side I got off from uh, Slacks, I think. And that side works great, this side not so much. So. Maybe Rock Auto didn't really do me too good on this one, but I do think that it just needs some lubricant. I could be wrong, but uh, we may end up finding out in a later video if I decide that I want to test it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, stay tuned for more. Yeah, you guys have heard this a million times. You know what to do. Subscribe, dude. Come on. You already know you want to. You're just hovering over that button right now, just going, Should I? Should I? You should. You should subscribe. Because I post a video every week. Usually every week. So far every week. Okay, sometimes I don't want to. But I do. Anyways, guys. See you next time.